Good morning. You guys are staying nice and cut up, I hope. All right, I got you all some fresh hot water. Just finish putting some olives in your feeders. We got hay. You like your fresh hot water? Sleeping over here in this corner, right here, which is good. Put some more bedding in there for them. Seven strong. like you guys don't like the apple so much but you ate up everything else you see that scratch down there for you it is cold out here we are not going above freezing today it's cold it's snowing Got all four kids home today. Is it good, Brownie? What you think, Blue? Three of them have 
names that are colors. Brownie, blue, and olive. <laughs> girls I'll be back here's something crazy I woke up this morning and realized it or say remembered that I was canning last night so luckily I mean I didn't fall asleep while I was canning I waited until the timer went off I came back and I turned it off took it off this, the burner that it was on and I went back upstairs with the babies and at some point I fell asleep. My plan was to wait until the gauge went all the way down and then wait another five minutes and then open it up. Well, I did not come back down here until this morning. And I was like, oh my, I literally ran downstairs like, oh my gosh, what happened? But it was okay because it was off the heat. It was fine. It just literally slow release on its own. So we have three, six, nine, 11 pint jars of venison stew. And they're all sealed. They're all good. But it was still like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Our friend downstairs so fast. Oh, bye, let's go. Our friend downstairs so fast. Freaking out, thinking, oh my gosh, are they exploded in the can? Is there going to be glass all in there? What is going to happen? But it was fine. But I was sleeping. I also have a quart jar in the refrigerator where it was mostly juice and like some straggling vegetables, but it wasn't enough to make um, like a good quart, I mean a good pint of this. Another one of these is a lot of juice, this one. This one has a lot of juice too, so I'll probably add this to the other, to the quart that's in the fridge and make a bowl out of that. But yeah, so that was like, oh my gosh, that was so crazy. That was like scary crazy when I ran downstairs. Ah, crazy. So we've been trying to get this project done, I don't know, for over a month now. And since the girls are home from school and everything else is pretty much in order, I said, let's do this today. So we're gonna do a, um, a art project where it's each of the kids each of my kids is handprint on here. So it'll be big girl, big girl, baby, baby. But first we're gonna paint it black because I don't want a white canvas. Just so dark. If it doesn't turn out right, then we'll just have to buy another canvas. I don't know, we'll see. <sighs> oh my gosh, it looks almost green. I see it. Or do you see So I got the first coat on. I'll let it dry a little bit so I can get some of the thinner spots because it's just going to pull it up again. I got this slime. Slime. It's not slime, it's Play Doh. I like squish it. Say Play Doh. Play Doh. This is their first time playing with Play Doh. So. My mom bought Wait. a sensor of some Play-Doh for her birthday. But all of these other pieces are from when Samantha and Sydney were young and playing with Play-Doh. We kept all those little kits. So now we have all of these little Play-Doh crazy things. Try this. And Get Play-Doh. Nope, you have yours. Go 
Tyler? Tyler, you like Since it? Got batteries. Tyler's? Tyler's? Since got batteries, you having fun? It is fun. This is it's fun. It's fun, Spencer? Yeah, it is fun. Let me get slime. Photos are okay. Photos. <laughs> Photos are there, that do. It's my favorite slime. Oh, yeah. It's not slime though. It's Play Doh. It's Play Doh? <laughs> All she right. knows is slime. Good morning. Alright, good. Put it on the machine. You gotta put it up here. Okay. You can make whatever you want out of it. Okay. It gets a bit big. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit too big there. Alright. Alright. Let's put I it right here. Put it on the belt. Put it on here. Alright, I hit the on button. It's moving. Look, Silas, look. Look. It is moving. Silas, look. It's stuck. Maybe that's a little too big. Come on. Oh. Just a little bit still. Okay, that should be good. All right. Just leave it on there. Good no, 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 Silas, don't touch it. All right, Swiss, you got to push down on here. He's blowing it. Mm -hmm. blow. It's not there yet. Push it Stop pushing. Fast. Alright, now push it. Push this, push, push it, down. push it. <laughs> there we go. You gotta push it. No, watch your fingers. No, 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 no. no. Alright, so now you cut it off, alright? No, it's not this one to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. So back to my project. The second coat is on. That looks really good. So now I just need to get this in here. Just smooth that out, and then I'll do the, the, the sides. Um, I'll do those later. All right. So the black sun. We dried it with the blow dryer, and I got my hand in the middle. So we're gonna blow this with the blow dryer, and then each child is going to. Put their hand here to come into my hand. Okay, go ahead, Sam. Blast it. All right, finished product. <laughs> Not quite how I envisioned it, but it's still special. The kids like it. Bye now. Still drying. Something fun to do. Got some table scraps for the chickens. We have quail eggshells, cucumbers, tomatoes that were too soft. Um, get that table off of there. And I think that's it. Yeah, they'll like it. Right, let's see what these chickens are doing. Hey chickies, you girls want some more food? I'm also gonna get you some more, some straw in there. Hello girls.
get moldy in here. Hey girls. Yeah, I like to see you up here. Staying warm. That's what you're supposed to do. Hi. Hi, beautiful girls. One, two, three, four, five. There's brown, I don't know, olives down there. Hold on, let me get you some more. Why don't you come down here? Bunny came out to eat some tomatoes. UPS finally got here. So yesterday I was waiting on the mailman. Today I'm stalking the UPS uh, lady. But yes, it's here. I don't like the way the box looks though. Good lord. I'm surprised that wasn't in another box. It just came just like this. No outer box. No outer box. Yes, Silas. These kids, I tell ya. Whenever I Yes, Silas. Whenever I try to do anything. There's me and my mama. Mama, mommy, 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 mama. Great. So I got it all set up in our bathroom on top of the brooder that they'll be in. Um, I plugged it into the extension cord and I set it for 17 days and I put the temperature to go to 99.5. So we're waiting for that to just load up to that and then we'll let it make sure it stays at that at least for 6 to 12 hours before we put the, um, the eggs inside. But it literally was just like a plug and use. I mean it's so simple right now um there's a hole right here where i can take this up where i can plug um, push the water in for the humidity so i don't have to open this every time i need to add water which is great the temperature is going up pretty fast i mean it moves like a half degree like every few seconds it seems like maybe within a minute seems to go up pretty quickly so that's good but so far I'm happy with it again it's bigger than what I was expecting I didn't know what I was expecting so I, you know when you just look at the YouTube videos of people showing you them you don't realize how big it is um, but it's the length of my forearm my hand to forearm I can say that if that helps Just that quick 91.5. So it moves pretty quickly. Alright, so I'll be back um, in a few hours to let you guys know if it stayed at 99.5 once it gets there and holds its temperature. And then I'll add some water to see if the humidity um, just check on that as well. So I'll be doing that as well in a minute. So while we're waiting for the incubator to get up to temperature, well actually no, the, the incubator has gotten up to temperature, let me go back and say that, but I'm waiting for the humidity to get up. I did put a little bit of water in there, some hot water, it's moving already, it was at 23 and it's already at 37 within like 3 minutes. So that's moving along fine. But the eggs are back here um, on top of my freezer, which is a cold touch. But I took the temperature of the eggs and they were about 65 degrees. So I went and got some ice packs from the freezer and I just sat them right on top of here. As you can see, it's not a thick amount, but it was enough to bring them down um, so that they were more reading in the 50s. So I went 
to the store and got two extra thermometers so that we could really see if this one that's attached to the incubator is accurate. Um, just based on reading reviews for this one and all the other ones that we've had to choose from. You know, everyone's saying, you know, make sure you have some of the thermometers because they're not, you know, nothing's ever 100%. And we want to make sure that we have the best possibility to get a good hatch rate. So, if you can see that, see this one, get that light off of there, is... About 90, about 96, 97 ish. This one over here has pretty much gotten to 100. And this has 100.5. So I think we're pretty good as far as accuracy on that. I did open it to put these thermometers in there, so my humidity dropped down to 41. So I'll come back again and just see where that is. It is currently 6.36 p.m. Oh, we're good to go. This is great. So all three thermometers are showing 100 degrees. Well, this one here is like 98, 98, 99, somewhere in there. This one over here is showing 100. I'm not sure if you can see that. And the main one that came with it is 100.5. So we are golden as far as temperature. It looks like it's reading pretty accurately. Um, the, the humidity right now is at 49%, which means that I need to add a little bit more water, which is fine, I can do that. But I am also at the bottom of this. Um, I'm gonna take all of this apart. But at the very bottom, I'm gonna lay a thin piece of cheesecloth so that when, once this is all done and it would be a lot easier to clean. I'll just pick the cheesecloth up and I can throw that entire thing away instead of me trying to, you know, scrub out the eggshell mess and any poop that may have gotten inside or whatever. It'll be a lot easier to clean. Based on reviews, I hear that this is hard to clean. Um, one person that purchased this, they took theirs apart and they painted the inside so instead of it being styrofoam um, feeling uh, you know material you had there was paint over it so that made it easier for them to clean another person suggested the cheesecloth so I'm gonna go since I have cheesecloth I want to try that let's go around and see how that works um, another person that I'm now following she suggested putting um, towel like wash uh, hand towels or washcloths small towels on the bottom to help with the humidity and that seems like a great idea as well so I will be taking those two things and that's at the very bottom you know just to help with the humidity as well as easier to clean so I'm very excited about that they will definitely be going in tomorrow and I'm excited we're gonna be good to go so that's all for today thanks for watching um, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss all the fun things that are coming up. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.